What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing and installing this i7 7700K. I'm going to be replacing the i5 6402P that I currently have on my desktop. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright guys, I also forgot to mention I'm going to be using this Arctic Silver um, thermal paste and removal to be taking off the paste off the fan because I'm going to be reusing the fan and uh, also cleaning up the old CPU um, in case I ever want to use it again in the future. Alright, so inside the box what we have is Okay, I don't want it to fall out. Here is the CPU. Nothing else. Uh, we have the instructions and here's the CPU. As you can see on the CPU right here is a little arrow. We'll be using that. Um, you have the two dots, one dot there. Where are the dots? Oh, you have the two little cut out half circles. I don't know if you, you can't really see it in the video. I'll show you in there. Okay, so first we're gonna start by removing the fan. Um, of course, make sure your uh, computer's turned off, powered off, and unplugged. Um, so we'll go ahead and unplug the CPU from the motherboard. All right, once the fan is unplugged, uh, there are four tabs on the corners. We're gonna loosen those with a flathead, and then the fan should come right off. Gonna take a little persuasion. Cause right now the old thermal paste is on there. All right. Now that the fan's off, I'm going to use the thermal uh, material remover to take the old paste off the old CPU. This stuff smells pretty good, not gonna lie. And right now I'm just using a cloth that you would use to clean your glasses. They wanted something lint free, so just using this. So you see the lever right there on the left? We're gonna be pulling that lever out and pulling it back so that this, uh, the case around the CPU opens up and we can access the CPU. And as you can tell, I don't know if you see it right now, but there's an arrow on this side of the case and that's the arrow that's on the CPU there. So you want to make sure that those line up there. Alright, now that that's open, we're going to remove the CPU. Those are all the pins. You don't want to touch that or have that damaged. And then we're going to put the new CPU right in where that one was, the same way. You don't want to force it down there because you don't want the pins to get all messed up. To make sure it's in there good, you can just kind of jiggle it a little bit, but not with a lot of force, just to make sure it's lined it in there correctly. You can go ahead and close this. Go ahead and put the push the lever back down. All right, now that the lever's down, we're gonna go ahead and put some thermal paste on there. The size of the thermal paste will be about two grains of rice. Is about the size you want to use. You don't want to use too much or too little. So before I install the fan back, I'm going to clean this off the same way I clean the CPU. I'm going to use um, the same rag and the thermal removal 
that I got and uh, clean this off. And once I put the new thermal paste on the CPU and I put this on top of it, it's gonna kind of press the thermal paste down and spread it out, kind of how you see here. All right, so I think that's clean pretty good. So now I'm going to put the thermal paste on the CPU and then install the CPU fan back. All right, so there's a few ways to apply thermal paste. I'm just gonna go, there's like a five point um, way where you could just put a little dot in, like there's five dots, kind of like on a domino. Um, I'm gonna go with, there's another way you could do it, just kind of a line across, uh, diagonal, kind of like an, or you can make an X, but make sure it's a light, thin layer and not too much. Now that the thermal paste is back on, I'm gonna go put, ahead and put the CPU fan back on. Once you have the fan in there nice and secure, you want to make sure it doesn't wiggle when you move it. Um, one way to check to make sure that it's in there all the way, because I know I was unsure, you could take off the panel on the other side of the desktop to look at the other side of the motherboard to make sure that the clips from the CPU fan went through the motherboard and are kind of like latched there, making sure they're holding on to the motherboard. Um, last, we're going to plug in the CPU fan. Keep just calling it a CPU. So these pins right here where they were. All right, now that that's plugged in, everything's secure, uh, we can go ahead and uh, start it up. All right guys, so this is the moment of truth. Let's see if it starts up. Oh, scared myself. I didn't, I didn't put the, turn the battery on. All right, power is back on. Make sure everything looks cute in there. All right, everything looks nice and cute. Let's try this again. All right, so once you boot it up, you should see this screen. It says press F1 to run setup. So now this is the BIOS menu. Um, now, just a heads up. I had to update my BIOS version for this uh, CPU to work on this motherboard, so make sure that your motherboard su supports that CPU. Um, if it doesn't, you might have to do an update, so I would look into that first. Make sure you do the update first and then install the CPU. I would say the three tips that I have are number one, make sure your BIOS is compatible with the CPU that you're installing. Uh, number two, make sure you have a good amount of thermal paste. Sometimes you'll mess up on, say, your first time uh, putting the thermal paste on. Maybe you'll put too much on there or uh, not enough. So make sure you get two thermal paste just in case. And I would even get some thermal paste removal um, just in case you mess up. But the third tip would be to, when you're putting on the fan, um, the pins that go through your motherboard, you want to open the back side of your tower, which is on the other side of the motherboard, just to make sure that the pins of the fan went all the way through. Um, and they're, how do you explain it? I guess so that they don't come back out. You want to make sure it's in there um, tight so that it doesn't wiggle. You don't want the fan wiggling or loose or anything. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's a pretty simple install. Honestly, I know it, it looks uh, scary, but I think you guys can do it. So if you found this video helpful, please make sure to hit that like button, share it with your friends and family, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.